What are you afraid of? Most people who are honest with themselves know that they can do better in life and allow fear to stop them nine times out of ten. The biggest fear is fear of failure, followed by the fear of ridicule. Being successful can be scary. You are going out of your comfort zone. All endeavours that we have in life are a risk. And I do mean all. If you're not doing anything, you risk in being a failure. If you do something, you risk being a failure. So what do you have to lose by doing something? If you have a dream, chase it. Failing at something is much better than regretting not trying. And how do we cope with this? We make excuses. Oh, I don't have the money. Oh, I don't have the time. Oh, I don't have the intelligence. Oh, you know, society is against me. What a lot of rubbish. There are so many examples of great men and women who have not had any advantage of all succeeding against life's battles. I'd also be laxed if I didn't state that a lot of people who have tried have failed. But at least they don't live with the regret of not trying. At the end of your life, if you can die with a smile on your face knowing that everything you've tried to do, you've given your best for, then you've lived a great life. So let's break down the main three excuses. Oh, I don't have the time. Everybody has 24 hours, rich or poor. And other people find time to do things, so so can you. It takes money to succeed. Everybody can earn extra money in some way. We live in the most technologically advanced society in human history. If you look hard enough... There are dozens of ways of making extra money. Oh, I'm not smart enough. Even if you don't go to university or higher education, there are many ways of learning how to do things through the internet, through books. There is no excuse for anybody in this and our current society for not being able to learn a new skill you've just got to find a way of doing it seek and you shall find as they say in the bible another excuse is oh that society is against me well in human history there has been many people that have had societal pressures and yet they've still been able to go out there and succeed If you truly want something, you will find a way. You just need to get off your backside and go and find it. And let's face it, you don't know what you can do until you try to do it. Many people out there have been amazed at what they've been able to do when they've actually gone out and done it. Necessity is the mother of invention and it's The only way that you'll find out what you're actually capable of is actually going out and doing it. Stop worrying about what other people think about you and what roadblocks are in your way. If you look, you will find ways around those roadblocks. But you must look. A lot of people just put it in a too hard basket and once they put it in the too hard basket, that's it. It's like, oh, I can't do it. You must learn to eliminate the word can't. One of the main reasons why humanity has advanced to where we are today is because people who have advanced us don't know the word can't. The world needs what you have to offer. And if you don't push, the world will be poorer for not knowing what you're capable of. What? I think we can all agree that faith is a very extensive subject. And over the last few years, I've been writing a 
intensive book on the subject. This book shows many examples of how faith has changed people's lives and by the same token showing how the lack of faith has destroyed their lives or has been a negative force in their lives. The link is in the description. So if you'd like to learn more about how faith can help you to advance in your life, then click on the description and have a look at my new book, How the Lack of Faith is Holding You Back. This has been Philip Gale and this is Morning Thought Farm. Bye for now.